Welcome to I Love the Library. Today I'm going to cover a pretty heavy topic. These are some of the books we have in the library on death and dying. This one is On Grief and Grieving, Finding the Meaning of Grief Through the Five Stages of Loss by Elizabeth Kubler-Ross and David Kessler. This one is Final Conversations, Helping the Living and the Dying Talk to Each Other by Maureen P. Keeley and Julie M. Yingling. This one is Last Rites Rescu Rescuing the End of Life from the Medical System by Stephen P. Kiernan. This one is A Graceful Farewell, Putting Your Affairs in Order by Maggie Watson. And this one is a workbook. It takes you step by step, worksheet by worksheet, through getting your affairs in order. It also has a CD-ROM in the back that you can put in your computer and you can print out the worksheets for your own use. This one is Jane Brody's Guide to the Great Beyond, a practical primer to help you and your loved ones prepare medically, legally, and emotionally for the end of life. And this is the book that led me to try and cover this topic. Uh, one of our patrons actually came and asked if it was possible to highlight this book. He said it was ex an excellent book and it was very informative and I have to agree with him. It, w it is a very good book. Um, the author has inside a copy of a medical living will with code status and that's what she feels is very important because the medical professionals have to be able to understand what it is that your wishes are. She also recommends having a health care proxy, and that's somebody that knows what your wishes are and will speak for you when you can't speak for yourself. Now, as I said, this is a, a heavy topic, and the author tries to lighten it by including cartoons throughout the book. And this particular one says, Grandpa's secret to longevity is life support. But this book has tons of resources for you to learn more. At the end of each of the um, chapters, she has a section uh, of further reading so that uh, you can go and find more information on that topic of that particular uh, chapter. And uh, included in the resources, she has all kinds of websites that she includes for you, like www.caringinfo.org, hospicenet.org. She has uh, www.partnershipforcaring.org. She recommends a pamphlet, and its title is Before I Go, You Should Know, and it's at www.funerals.org. She has the 1-800 number for cancer care, just all kinds of different uh, resources for you to use. Um, the main theme of the book is dying a good death, and she says that's different for all of us, but that there are actually six basic tenets for dying a good death, and they are optimizing physical comfort. Number two is maintaining a sense of continuity of oneself, maintaining and enhancing relationships, making meaning of one's life and death, achieving a sense of control, and com confronting and preparing for death. Now I know a lot of us don't like to talk about it and even probably more of us haven't bothered to, to get our affairs in order, make our wishes known, but if for no other reason, do it for your loved ones because it, it's such a difficult time when you lose somebody. So I hope to see you at the library.